Ladies and gentlemen, yes, this Karen has definitely lost her entire mind. You can look at her and tell the lights are on, but nobody's home, you know? Well, she tosses a, a dog at a black man. Now, you can clearly see this in just the different photos. And when he actually caught this dog and the dog was screaming like he didn't want to go back to her. Okay. It's no telling how much abuse this dog has taken from this woman. And after she tossed the dog, so you can see the headlines, she accused him of stealing the dog. So the whole thing is on videotape of her tossing this dog. You stole my dog. I mean, so you're willing to risk the life of your animal just to get at a black man because that's exactly what she did. Ooh, what lengths they won't go to just to mess with one of us. So this is the Daily Dot, October 10th, 2020. A racist woman threw her dog at a black man. When he rescues it from her, she accused him of stealing. Okay, so she accuses him of stealing a dog that she tossed at him. <laughs> Bitch is crazy. So anyway, a woman in California. What is it with these women in California? These women be bugging. So a woman in California turned her dog into a weapon during an altercation that she started with a stranger. When the man rescued the dog from her, she accused him of stealing it. A video of the incident was posted to Twitter by at Mulliflair, the man in which she received the dog, you know, you know, from her tossing it at him on October 9th. So this happened pretty recently. When the video starts, the two are already in mid-conflict with the woman aggressively walking towards the man who is filming her, okay? And she is using all kinds of racial slurs to y'all when she approached them. And like I said, these Karen videos all go the same way. Karen is the one approaching either a black man, woman, or child. It's not done any other way. It's always one way only. And it's one way only in this case as well. So when the video starts, you know, like I said, they were already in conflict. Who was filming her? So she is using one arm to hold what is apparently a dog. Why are you holding the dog like that? The man asked her laughing. Even though he was a way back away from the woman, who is incoherent, rambling, she continues to walk towards him. You got me in the middle of the street, he tells her, before asking if she was on drugs. She then goes to hit him, and he blocks her from doing so, still laughing. Back up, she pleads with, uh, he pleads with her. Let me get back in my car. Wow. So she says, you're black. Aren't these same people always talking about us playing the race card? Well, how come they're the ones always bringing this up to total strangers in these Karen videos? Karen always seems to one, be the one bringing that up an awful lot. So she says, you're black. She says, seemingly as an insult. He asked her, to repeat herself. I said, you're black, she responds. So what, he asked. So what if I'm effing black? So what if I'm effing white, she responds. Yeah, because she has no originality. He reminds her that she is the one that brought race up, not him. You racist B, he says. She then asked him where he was from making the assumption that he's not from California. While she is, the woman goes to kick him before incoherently asking about the Illuminati. 
y'all need to get your drug addicts off the street. This is the fault of protecting addicts. Seriously, they protect these addicts instead of doing something with them. Now, during the crack epidemic, they had no problem rounding up people in the black neighborhood and labeling them, labeling everybody as a criminal. They didn't seem to have a problem with that. But when it comes down to their own, they got all kinds of issues of doing something with these damn people. Okay, is that is that your dog? He asked her. She then forcefully throws the dog at him as it let out a whine. Now, there is the video. I'm not going to post this video, but what I will do, I will put it in the description box and you can come out here and watch it at your own leisure. Okay, so she throws the dog, the dog whines, the dog slams into the man before landing on the ground. It then runs to the man for refuge, letting out repeat yelps. What the F he said? What the F out of here, you dumb B? Mm. She told her, get out after she did this. The man slightly bends down to comfort the dog. Whoa, back up. This is not your effing dog, he tells her as he scoops up the dog in an apparent attempt to rescue it from her. I got a video of everything, he said. You're going to jail. She then claims to have mental health issues. Really? This is what I'm saying. Then do something with these damn people. You know, so in order, you know, this is their way out of doing anything with these dummies that are rumbling around here, all strung out on drugs and all kinds of mental problems, which I don't believe they got mental problems. They're just addicts. Now, instead of doing something, they let these folks roam around and their excuse for not doing anything to them is it's a public health issue. That's just an excuse not to do anything. That's all that is. It sure was a criminal issue decades ago when it was the crack epidemic. It was a criminal issue, but all of a sudden addiction is now public health. So I don't have to do nothing to this person. It's public health. Y'all full of crap. No wonder why this addiction has been going on for 22 years. Okay. So she claimed to have mental health issues and accuses him of stealing the dog, a dog that you tossed at him. You tossed the dog at him. Now he stole the dog. You get this dumbass B off the street. So, mm -hmm. so the man is saying, um, you know, he posted this on Instagram. The story letting viewers know that he kept the dog and said she's safe and happy now. So, you know, no, I would have had a problem giving that dog back to her after she did that. I would have had a problem with that too. You know, I hope somebody finds out who she is. And I bet you when you do find out who she is, it'll be an interesting story. I bet you this chick has been freaking out with a lot of people, you know, but she has no business having any pets the way she's acting and all abusive and everything. But I'm glad that man did not get hurt. I'm glad he's safe, you know, and who knows? I mean, I, I hope he got away from her, but, uh, you know, he apparently did. He got the dog and he left. Wow. What a mess. What a mess. You know, like I said, this is the end result of these people making up all kinds of excuses for not getting these addicts off the street. And this is not the first incident and it won't be the last. I bet you she'll be involved in more incidents in the near future. I wouldn't doubt it for one bit. And even if they took her in, y'all, they ain't gonna do nothing to this woman. I mean, look at what she is in America. They ain't gonna do nothing to her. They will just turn around and unleash her back on the, you know, on the public. That's what they would do push her back out here 
So she got the next person to walk up and spaz out on. This is ridiculous. But y'all, please tell me what you think. You know, he said the dog is safe and happy. Mm-mm-mm. What a shame. How the hell are you going to toss a damn dog at somebody? Who does that? Seriously, who does stuff like this? Mm. Y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family. Wow.